Hi, I'm Ray Fewings. Welcome to In The Box Seat on the South Australian Sports Show. We've got a big uh, feature coming up at Angle Park over the next two weeks. We're into the semi-finals of the South Australian St Ledger and there uh, should be a good round on Thursday night coming up. Uh, also, uh, we'll be interviewing uh, Judy Hurley, who is part owner of uh, a couple of the aspirants in that particular race, in Emily Stryker and em Emily Kleana. And also, uh, we'll bring you all the industry news as well. Actually, the big news in the Greyhound world in South Australia is that Roseanne Healy, who has been the chairman of Greyhound Racing SA for nine years, has uh, embarked upon a succession plan and Michael Fabrio will be taking over after a period of time as the new chairman. Roseanne will just spend a few months in uh, tutoring him and uh, bringing him up to scratch as he takes over the job. Now, as far as feature races around Australia are concerned this week, we go to uh, the Meadows. They've had some great racing there lately. And of course, this Saturday night, the Macro meets Australian Super Stayers, and that'll be conducted on uh, Saturday night. As far as dogs to follow are concerned, uh, the St Ledger uh, semi-finals have most of them in, $2,600 semis this Thursday night at Engle Park. Uh, the tips uh, from the Honeys on Wednesday, race two, number seven, I Icini Shadow. This Broken Hill Greyhound debuted with an excellent effort last Wednesday. Slow to begin, got checked on a couple of occasions, looked unlucky not to have won. Looks as though it's the dog to follow. Race eight, number one, True Pal is the honey's other tip for Wednesday. Now with Angela Modra, uh, showed brilliant speed to, to lead all the way last start, improved on its previous run and is going places. As far as their tips on Thursday night is concerned, uh, race th three, number three, In It's Charm. It's uh, going particularly well. And of course, the Stabenkovich kennel in top form at the moment. And in race six, number one, Lecture Train. Drawn nicely, ran into a smart heat winner last Wednesday and should go very well uh, on its third to Kumbiana Girl. Now the first fours, race three, three, one, five, seven, and in race six, one, seven, six, and four. As far as the in the box seat tip is concerned for Thursday night, race seven, number six, Kumbiana Girl. Looks to have a bright future, judging by its hat tricks of uh, wins lately, and only bad luck will stop her winning again. Three starts back came from last to win over the 400 at Gawler, then followed up with two all the way wins at Angle Park, 30.09 and 30.03. In good hands and putting it all together, should be very hard to beat in the St Ledger semi-final. My dogs to watch for this week, Wednesday, race one, number eight, Oscar Chu. I thought of a natural improvement, it would very quickly win its first race on coming Wednesday. Race five, number two, Paddy's Trust. Ran a good race at Strath on Sunday and nicely drawn here, should go close. On Thursday, I too like race three, number three, Enid's Charm, and my other tip is race 10, number three, Diva Doll. In a moment, Judy Hurley joins us from Emily Park Greyhound Complex. <music> Judy Hurley is joining us from Emily Park Greyhound Complex. Uh, she's got two runners in the St Ledger semi-finals at Angle Park on Thursday night, Emily Stryker, and uh, the very promising Emily Kleana. Welcome, Judy. Welcome. Thank you very much, Ray. Well, let's hope your luck from last Monday night continues on. Uh, this greyhound, Carvum, is a very exciting greyhound. Judy, I can't wait for him to go over the 700. Yeah, well, that's, that's coming very, very close. Mm. Uh, we wanted to build him up. I would have liked him to have had a 6.43 at Gawler, but they're pretty hard to program. They don't get the noms for them, so uh, we'll probably just step him straight up to the 700. Mm, he looks uh, natural to me. And you also had a good thing beaten on uh, Monday night, uh, Emily O'Shea. <laughs> Murphy. Yes, no, he's only a youngster and he's still learning what it's all about. I mean, put him in by himself and he runs very good times, mm. but mm. Uh, he's only a baby. He's only 18 months. So if I can't win the St Ledger this year, I'll win it next year. I reckon you might be with the show. Now, Emily Stryker has drawn the rails. Uh, what do you think about that? No, I don't. No? <laughs> he does step right when he comes out of boxes, and uh, he does prefer, I prefer him in the outside uh, to get their measure. Um, he's not a really pushy dog. Mm. So, of course, if they all come down on him, he tends to end up at the back. So I'm not happy with one, but uh, I'd like to sell it to somebody. Right. Uh, you've also got Emily Road. He's drawn the pink. Now, I thought uh, Thursday night that's a good box for him. Yes, it certainly is. Um, he likes to do the swooping rather than have them sweep on him mm. yeah no he's because uh, he tends to be a wide runner as well so no box eight i'm happy with that 
And you must be happy with the way Emily Kleana's going too. Oh, yes. Yeah. She was always the one that showed a lot more speed, mm. but she's got the speed early, mm. whereas the other one, Emily O'Shea, has got the speed coming home. Right. So, yeah, no, she's going very well. I'm very pleased with her. I mean, as I said, they're both babies, and so, mm. yeah. I don't know whether it's uh, through your breeding or not, but uh, the Emily dogs all seem to be pretty strong. You don't get too many squibs, do you? No, I certainly don't. I mean, I've, I've had a, a couple, but not very many. They do tend to be strong, whether it's... Um, I follow Gail Brown's method. Um, Gail, of course, from Kate's a Scandal fame. Mm. I've, uh, she was my mentor a long time ago, and I've tended to follow what she does. You work them hard and you feed them big. And, mm. uh, yeah, and that's why I've just followed that on from there. So mm. I'm happy with the results. Well, they're going very well. Uh, now, you were, I was talking before about Roseanne Healy. You were once on the board, weren't you, yes, for Greyhound? Uh, yeah, a long time. With Des Corcoran, actually, mm. uh, back in the early uh, 90s. Yes, certainly was with uh, Brian Johnson, uh, Myself, uh, who else was there? Um, Des Corcoran, uh, Bob McGee and Edlyn Leanett. Mm. Yes, we were on the board then. Yeah, so. You would have been one of the first women. Yes, I was. I mm. was the first woman appointed to a racing board in South Australia. Mm. Yeah, but my, my claim to fame. Well, that's something to be <laughs> proud of. Of course, at Emily Park, you've got the, the trial tracks there, the straight track and the circle. Uh, you do a lot of uh, rearing and you're probably South Australia's biggest breeder now. Yeah, I think I am. I think I've got to have rocks in my head. I've got <laughs> I've got three litters due in March, one on the 4th, one on the 13th and one on the 16th. Mm. And I think I'm crazy. But yeah, so that, I'm looking forward. That's um, El Gran Senor is the first one, then Beau Frazier is the second one and then Dinah Lachlan is the third litter that mm. I'm expecting. And they're all, um, the last two are very heavy in part. Right, so there'll be, uh, there might be one or two spare ones there. Having a wonderful run, you've made a big commitment to the game and uh, things are paying off for you. Yes, certainly have. I mean, I retired from life as a university administrator. Mm. I've never had such horrible hands in all my life, <laughs> but I enjoy it. I love the dogs and, uh, yeah, I love the rewards that they bring you. Yeah. Well, Judy, thanks for talking with us. Good luck on Thursday night. Thank you very much, Ray. Thank Judy you. Judy Hurley uh, was talking to us there uh, about her Emily Greyhounds and she's having a wonderful run at the moment. And I've got a funny feeling... Perhaps the best is yet to come. Don't forget grsa.com.au for all of your information on the net. And don't forget uh, Hot Dogs for Breakfast, Rowan and myself, every Wednesday morning between 8 and 9 on 5RPH. Good luck.